today I am going fishing on the Etowah River out here in uh, in northern Georgia. I'm working on an afternoon shift this week, so that's 3 uh, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. I got a couple hours to fish. It's 10:30 right now. I should have woke up early to go fishing, but you know, sleeping in was nice. We're gonna be going after some largemouth, uh, some spotted bass, possibly some striper. Need to make a quick stop at Academy. I gotta return. Uh, you know those like necklace, those like cords for your sunglasses. I bought one of those for my sunglasses. It's a really long. I wanted, I wanted a shorter one, so I'm gonna return that. Stay tuned. We're gonna get into the fish today. I promise. Every time I go to Academy, I spend more money than I intend. I was supposed to just return something. Ended up spending 20 extra dollars. Some of the things I got. Swim jig, going with white. I think the bass out here are liking the white, okay? To complement that, some white craw trailers right here. And then I also got these Zoom horny toads. Um, these things are awesome. Like for top water, they're phenomenal. But um, I don't know if a lot of people do the same, but I like to actually let these um, sink to the bottom because they got a very erratic um, motion at the bottom. It's almost like a wacky rig with a frog. And these are actually the hooks I, I rig them on. Let's see here. Three out with a 1 16th ounce weight. I have a lot of success with these horny toads on these hooks. Um, both my rods have braid on them, so I, I tie on a fluorocarbon leader. I need to pick up another rod here soon because I'm getting sick of uh, constantly tying on leaders. The FG knot. It's a sweet knot, but God, it takes forever. We're at my new spot here, and we're going to try to get in the water ASAP. I only got like freaking an hour and 45 minutes to fish, so that kind of sucks. Water level looks a little low today. All right, y'all. Let's get in the water. Let's catch some fish. This kayak is sketchy. All right, so I'm going to start up upriver, and we're just going to kind of float down with it. Yeah, baby. Yes! Finally. Oh. Uh-huh. I mean, I'll tell you what, this bass was playing with that frog, just playing with it. Finally gulped it up, smoked it. Nice fish. Let's get a release on it here. There he goes. God, that felt good. Smoked him. I mean, it's kind of freaky being on a river like this. It's, I don't know how deep it is, but it's kind of, kind of got an eerie feeling floating on this little crappy kayak with, you know, all my gear. And you get a bird's nest like this if you're not paying attention. Folks, being a damn amateur out here. We gooch, we gooch. It's so hard to, really wish I had a, oh, got one. Oh, I need to be a little more ready for that. So the fish out here like to play with you. They like to play with that bait. Uh-oh. That's the alarm for the dam starting to release water. So I'm gonna see how this plays out. Holy, f okay, so this is new to me. They do an alarm every time they're about to release water from the dam. Now I don't know how much water that means. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off the water and just uh, observe. That's kind of scary. I need to Google like if it's safe to be on the water. I'm just wondering if there's gonna be like a big surge of water or, I mean, I can tell the current's a little faster. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to be on the water and just hope, uh, hope I'm right. With my luck, there's gonna be like a freaking tidal wave coming down here shortly, but you know, I'm in a kayak. I, uh, maybe I could just float it out. So when the dam is generating, you know, that's gonna cause a lot more current. And so, um, you got to know how that plays into the fish's reaction. Fish are lazy, especially the big, the big bass don't like to be in currents. So 
we're going to want to hang out behind areas where, where the current isn't going to be. You know, you want to fish eddies. Another thing to take into account when you're fishing, uh, you know, a river like this where the current varies is the clarity of the water. You want to switch up what you're fishing with color wise. All right, this is a little weird. We got freaking hawks above me just circling me. Maybe that's like a sign. Oh, this guy's an idiot floating on the river when the when we're generating. So you want to float right along the, the bank and you want to work the structure. So you see these falling in logs and trees and grass. I mean, this is just a heck of a spot right here. So let me get up here. I want to cast this stump one more time. Here comes a train. There's literally like stones of coal just falling into the water. Jesus, that could kill me. I'm moving to Texas, so it's only fitting to throw a Texas rig right now, huh? Got a little lizard on it. Need something more weedless. So we are Texas rigging. Got one. Little bitty one. Little bit. Oh. Okay, now it's fighting. All right. So what I did here is I set this uh, lizard. I put the lizard right on that trunk. Dropped it in as soon as it fell in. Boom. This guy bit it. Nice looking fish. Looks healthy. There he goes. First cast on the Texas rig, baby. Hopefully this is what's to come in Texas. It's time to uh, time to catch my PB, I think. I think we're gonna catch the biggest bass I've ever caught today. So I'm gonna call it now, catching my personal bass today. Oh! Got one. Oh Lord, this thing is pulling. <laughs> I know, it's a fish. Oh my god, freaking attacked it. This thing is strong. Oh, it's a bass. Get up here, get up. I got, I got some, uh, got some of these. Look at that, dude! Holy sh! That. I thought it was a striper. I've never seen a bass in a current. I'm a catch and releaser, but wow! Yeah, can you? I don't have my phone with me. Holy, man! It's a hog. One more the side. I'm gonna get the side. You got a good pig of me yeah, with it? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Holy crap. That might be like one of the biggest I've ever caught. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That thing fought hard. I thought that was a striper. Oh, just lost my bait. That was my freaking $16 lure. Yeah, it's, it's, it floats though. 